The fairy wrasses are an incredibly diverse group of fish that we commonly keep in our reef tanks. Their males, in particular, are often incredibly colored. They're generally not that hard to keep, and they also do pretty well in reef tanks. It turns out, though, due in part to just how complex their coloration really is, the genus is poorly described in scientific literature. Now, that's changing, though, and we have two new species described just this week, and you might even have them in your own reef tank. Hi, guys and girls. I'm Reefman, and this week we're talking about a paper titled The Redescription of Cirilabris solarensis bleaker with description of two new species of fairy wrasses. And that was published just this week in Ichthyology and Herpetology. And that journal covers fish as well as reptiles and amphibians. So first off, a quick tank update. You can see behind me, I scrubbed most of the rock. I piled it up on one side of the tank and I left a bit with algae on it at the other end just to see how it would respond over time to see if the algae was spreading. It turns out the algae isn't spreading. Great news. And overall, the tank is doing better and better by the day. Some of the coral that I thought was dead actually has made it through with just a few polyps left alive and those are starting to regrow. Others, well, they're still struggling, but I do have a plan in place and hopefully within a few more weeks, we can start to see more coral in the tank. The dinoflagellates are going away pretty much on their own. I've done a couple water changes, but nothing else. I may not actually need a UV sterilizer to get rid of them like I thought I might, so we'll see. Okay, so back to fairy wrasses. These fish in general are pretty easy to keep in reef tanks. They do love to jump though, so make sure you have a tight fitting cover of some sort. They're very active fish and they'll use all the space that you could provide them. So think maybe a tank four or five feet in length. Generally, they just won't get along with other fairy wrasses, particularly males of the same species. They won't bother your other fish much and they'll ignore your coral as well, though they might try eating shrimp and things like that. Fairy wrasses, they might sleep buried in the sand, but they don't actually need to do that. So a bare bottom tank would work with them, unlike some other wrasses that do really need a sandy bottom in order to sleep in and feel secure. So the paper is looking at one previously described species of fairy wrasse in particular, Cirilabris solarensis. And it turns out that what we know as Cirilabris solarensis is actually three different species. Cirilabris solarensis, called the glow Darwin or dull head fairy wrasse in the hobby. There's also a new species named Cirilabris aquamarinus, which we know as the solar solarensis or red-eyed fairy wrasse. And the third new species, or the second new species, is titled or named uh, Cirilabris chalazai, or the red-headed fairy wrasse in the hobby. Interestingly, these wrasse turn more blue when preserved in alcohol. And this isn't a very well understood process. You can see the three species here. Across the top row, we have Cirilabris solarensis, Cirilabris aquamarinus, and Cirilabris chalaziae. Below the top row, you can see the same species, but after being preserved in alcohol. In fact, the differences in alcohol are part of the way that we can tell these species apart. But I think you'll agree that at least aquamarinus is pretty easy to distinguish. Actually, it's the only fairy wrasse with this bright blue aquamarine coloration. Here is another look at the three species so you can help tell them apart. So A, B, and C are all Cirilabris solarensis. Both the fish are males, and you can see them in the wild in the bottom in photo C. D, E, and F are all the new species, Cirilabris aquamarinus. Particularly note the aquamarine blue that it has on its side. Photo D is a transitioning young male, and E is a fully colored adult male. Again, at the bottom, you can see them in nature. The aquamarine blue color is pretty noticeable, I think you'd admit, and the species is actually named after this brilliant coloration. G, H, and I here are all the new species Cirilabris chalaziae. And at the top, we have a young male. In the middle, we have a adult male. And at the bottom, again, you can see both males and females in the wild. Now, this species is named after Vincent Chalaeus, 
Hopefully I pronounced that right. And he takes incredible underwater photos and is actually a regular contributor over at Reef Builders. These rafts are all members of the Cilirabus uh, cyanoplura complex. And that's a group of fairy rafts that all share pelvic fins, which start about halfway back on their bodies. You can see that distinguishing fin on all the fish in this chart that make up that group of rafts. I strongly recommend checking out the full paper. There is a link down below that you can use to get a copy, but that link is only going to work for a short period of time. Maybe you have some of these newly described species in your home reef tank. Take a close look at your fair rasses if you have any. It's not just coral, after all, in our tanks. Now, the paper is chock full of incredible photos. So even if you don't care about the science, if you're interested in wrasses, this is a paper, a PDF that you want to have in your library for sure. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see more like it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you've got any questions, post them below. I'll try to answer them as I can. As always, stay safe. Have a fantastic day. Bye.